Hey. What's up? Dude, where are you right now? That looks beautiful. I'm at my house. Good, Actually, man. I have Wi Fi outside. Me... All right. I'm going to go back inside. What's up? How you doing? Dude, life is good, bro. We're hanging in there here in Chicago. Where Where are you in the world right now? I'm, I'm in LA. I, oh. I've just been literally stuck at home. I don't think I've left the house for like, I don't know, weeks. Oh my God. Like, literally left? been crazy how about food how do you get food are you doing a lot of takeout are you doing a lot of grub up um honestly doing a lot of like postmates do you guys have postmates we do yeah we have postmates okay yeah yeah, yeah. going crazy yeah so we've been trying to just literally postmates food. and then like lysol wipe everything when it comes in <laughs> wash my hands yeah. again like just like doing the full thing and then we cook yeah. sometimes too i have a couple friends staying with me who i read a lot of my music with and um right one of them, she's, like, really good at cooking, so she'll, like, chef up some, like, amazing pasta, and then, like, we'll do all the dishes. <laughs> I love it. So how many people are with you total? Um, total, it's five, including myself. It's not bad, man. You're, not, you're definitely not, like, lonely I know. in that regard. You know? You're good, you're good in that spot. I feel lucky. I feel really lucky, yeah. That we just kind of, at the very beginning, we were like, yo, this would be so much better if we all, like, stick together, you know? So yeah. that part's really nice. Well, dude, hey, first, before we get into everything, man, because it's been already, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy year for you, like, business-wise. But uh, we got to know, are you Team Joe Exotic or are you Team Carol Baskin? Where do you stand? <laughs> you know, the, the, funny thing is, the funny thing is, I'm so happy you're asking me this because I just started watching it last night. Literally, I was like falling oh, asleep really? and I started yeah. watching the first episode last night. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could make a good decision yet because I, I haven't. There hasn't been enough drama. I feel like, based on the first episode, I would say probably Joe Exotic, but I don't really know. What is the deal? Just wait. Just, just no. I'm not going to spoil anything, man. But by, by okay. the end of this thing, <laughs> you will opinions opinions will be formed with Lau. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> yeah let me know you gotta let me know so dude congratulations uh first and foremost man you get you guys have been raising some money for the coronavirus yeah. it's been really cool and one day and then two million with another live stream right i mean that's i was like some on twitch i was doing a live stream for twitch and somebody must have had a ton of money and just went for it. That, that had nothing to do. I was just playing music. I don't think it was, like, somebody that, like, I knew or anything. But I was just playing music, and it happened while I was playing. And I was like, what the hell? That's crazy. Oh, my God. So yeah. good. So, so yeah. good. Um, all right, dude. We got to talk about it. Jump into the album, man. Your first album, which I feel like we've been talking about this for years. It finally happened. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. It feels really good. I was going to say, well, how does it feel? I mean, obviously, it's been years in the making. Um, and I, I honestly, I need to know if you're, if you're kind of a mind reader because um, how I'm feeling the album is literally the best, like, description of us isolating right now. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like that? Dude, it's so funny. Yeah, especially with, like, modern loneliness. Like, a lot of people have been like, yo, the timing for this is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, I had no idea. Um, but, yeah, I mean... The album, it feels amazing. You know, it's 21 songs and I put a lot of different vibes into it. And it's just like, yeah, it's been, it's been a long time coming. So I'm, I'm super stoked about it. I mean, look at the, the track listing. Sweatpants. We're all, that's what we're all doing. I'm Literally. So tired. I'm so tired. That's what everybody's just sleepy, right? Alcohol, a little bit of coffee. This is, this is us. This is our lives. Live. Yeah. Thank you, Em, by the way. <laughs> Someone just said she loves uh, Who and Julia. Thank you. If anybody's heard the album, thank you so much. Yeah, what was that? What was that process like um, doing a song with BTS? That must have been next level. It was crazy, you know, because it was the second thing we did together. The first time I did something for them, you know, the remix for them. And basically, what happened is I met them at their show in London, and right after that, they asked me to do the remix for them. And I was like, "Duh, like that's amazing." And then while I was working on that, I was like, "It'd be really cool to do something for my album." So I sent them a demo of my song "Who." And I wasn't necessarily expecting it to work out because like mm -hmm. we just were working on another collab, but they ended up loving it, recording it and sending it back. And yeah, it was like super simple. How excited are you going to be able to be able to like perform all these new songs? So excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, it sucks because we've had to move some of the 
some of the early tour dates, but we're holding on to everything that we can. And, you know, obviously everybody needs to be safe, but. Right. So funny. Like we spent so much time on it. So I'm excited. Right. I just love how there's just so many, like you were saying earlier, there's so much different vibes. I'm looking at um, El Tejano and yes. like summer in Chicago. Yeah. Everybody's going to be on Lake Michigan and drinking like, like a little tequila and dancing <laughs> summertime shy. You know what I mean? That's, that's the yeah. anthem right there for uh, when, we're, when we're done isolating. Bro, I'm so excited. We shot a music video for that song. It's going to be crazy. I'm so excited for that one. Cool, cool. So we're doing this thing here at Kiss FM in Chicago. It's it's boy band bracket. Speaking of BTS, because we don't have sports, right? There's no sports, so we created like a the ultimate bracket of boy bands. Oh, and your boys BTS right BTS right now. The number one seed BTS is going up against CNCO. That matchup's today. Okay. If you if you were to pick any boy band of all time, who's your favorite? Of all time? Yeah, you can go back. Like, you can go deep into the archives. Um, you know what? I don't even know that many songs by them. Um, but there's one song I love by them. They're called O-Town. Are they part of this bracket? Hell, yes, O-Town is part of this bracket. Let's Man, go. Legends. I love that song, All or Nothing. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were in the first round. I think they, I don't know if they won or not. So I'll good. Back, but that's a good answer. Didn't Aww, expect that. Sad. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else have you been doing? <laughs> Obviously, you got your friends there. So, how have you guys been keeping busy? Has it been like a lot of video games, a lot of binging? Board? Are you, are you busting out the board games, the Monopoly? We have board games. We, I, I'm sitting right next to Guess Who, but I think it's still sealed, so we haven't done it. But um, so honestly, I've just been in my. I have a studio in my house, so I've just been working on the next album, which is sounding crazy. So, wow. yeah, tons of music. Playing with my dog here. Let me show you my dog. Let's um, we need. We need this. We need puppies. Wow. This is Billy. Ah, oh, Billy! Dude, Billy! So cute. Is Billy a boy or a girl? A uh, boy. Billy's a good boy. Yeah, he's such a good boy. I love him. <laughs> just playing with his little bone. Um, yeah, man, we just, we just been like chilling and stuff, learning some TikTok dances <laughs> or trying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what about you? What have you been doing? Dude, going stir crazy, man. I mean, the city behind me is closed. So it's like, yeah. I just want to get out. And the, the, the biggest thing that I miss, to be honest with you, is just going to shows, like going out and seeing like artists perform and yeah. just, just being in crowds in general. Like, yeah. that's, like that's kind of what we do in the industry, right? So Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I'm hoping, I mean, as of right now, everything's still on for Lollapalooza. So okay. that's gonna good. Be, that's going to be kind of like the big first thing I think in Chicago, which is nuts. Dude, when this like when this like opens back up, I think things are going to be so crazy. Like, yeah, it's going to be so crazy. I mean, next level. Do you remember your? Do you remember that that uh, that moment at Lala when you were backstage talking to us, and then the plane flies over and it's got like it's got like congrats, loud or it said like your name on it. Sorry, wait, like, it keeps Whoa! it keeps cutting out. Do you remember the plane? Oh yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah, there's a plane. That was so funny. Yeah. There. yeah, that was dope. Wait, what okay. did that say again? It said something like, I can't remember. Another like sad white boy singing songs. I can't remember something like that. <laughs> it was a moment for so sure. Funny. Yeah, that's cool. What's your favorite Chicago moment while we're here? Ooh, favorite Chicago moment. Like just like like ever in my life in general. Yeah, in general. Honestly. One of the very first shows I ever played was at a, it was at a small venue in Chicago. Um, it was like during my first tour as loud, probably it was called Beat Kitchen. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think just that because it's like the beginning of like when I really started doing this thing. Like it was like I was playing really small shows mm -hmm. and just like in a whatever small. I can't remember what we were driving at that point. Just like a small car, like very basic setup kind of thing. And um, I don't know, it just kind of marks the beginning of it all. So yeah, it's a fun time. It's so funny how artists always remember like that first small venue because you kind of right? like get a, you kind of like get it. It's it's true. You get an indication like oh shit, people like my stuff because they're sitting yeah. back to me and it's such a yeah. small intimate setting. For sure, love that. yeah, love that. All yeah. right, man. Um, I appreciate you taking the time, dude. Modern loneliness, by the way. First time I heard it was it was the week that Kobe had died, and oh, like shit. it was literally like two days. I think it was like one or two days later, and they played it for me, and I'm like. The, fr the very first line in the song, I've been thinking about my father lately. And I was like, like, I, like my whole body just was like, whoa. Like, yeah. if there was not a, mo a song about a moment 
it's this one. So congratulations. Yeah, on, yeah thank you. Congratulations on capturing my thank feels, you. bro. <laughs> I try. Uh, <laughs> you do a cheers, good job. Man. Hey, dude, well, listen, get back to getting some music done. I feel like all these artists are going to have so much good music after this. Hell yeah, I'm excited. Working. Yeah. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. And the, the raising money thing is, is super awesome. I love that. Um, Hell yeah. And if there's anything we can do, let, let us know, too. Thank you. Know, you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Hell and yeah. Uh, we'll get back to playing Modern Loneliness and wait for summer when we can all celebrate. I can't wait to go out and have a beer with you at a bar. Bob. Let's go. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Brady. I appreciate you. All right, man. We'll talk soon. Yeah, stay safe. See ya.